legacy for me. Do you remember me? Yep, Lee the medical assistant. How are you today? Good, and you have an appointment today, right? like you're on time. Let me get your chart opened up here. You haven't had a change in phone number, right? Good. How are you today? You've been better? All right. Well, let's figure out what's going on for you today. So let's, okay. I'll be typing, but tell me exactly what you've been feeling and what brought you in today. Kind of like a sore spot. You feel kind of like a cyst. Okay. And where is that located? Okay. Gotcha. Is it draining at all? Today you noticed a little bit of drainage. Okay. You feel like it's Kind of in the vagina, but not really. Okay. No, I totally get that. That's perfect description. Don't worry about it. When did you first notice it? You were having intercourse and it was pretty painful. Okay. All right. Any burning when you pee at all? No. Lately, when you've been walking around, it's been pretty uncomfortable. Okay. Has anything like this happened to you in the past? First time? Okay. All right. Have you seen anyone else for this at all? Just us? Okay. And no changes as far as your medical history? No new medications or birth control. Okay. No new surgeries. Social drinker, not smoker. Okay. Good. Any new sexual partners? Okay. Any use condoms for birth control? That stayed the same. All right. It looks like you are all up to date with your pap smear this year, which is great. I know you're pretty uncomfortable, but are you okay if Leanna the PA takes a walk down there just to kind of see what's going on? Right, yeah, absolutely. Any abnormal discharge, odor, itch? Which seems like you're normal. Okay. What about any internal pelvic pain at all? Back pain? Sudden weight loss? And no trauma to the area that you know of. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, let me get you checked in here. Let me grab your chart. So, as always, I'm just going to take your vital signs. And then I'm going to get you all set up in this room for Leanna the PA. And then we'll kind of take it from there. Absolutely, yes, I can definitely tell you're a bit uncomfortable, so we will do our best to resolve that for you. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, let's start with some blood pressure here. Before I begin, um, your height remind me what it is. There goes my pencil. It is a beautiful sunny day today. I'm someone that quickly found out that my mood largely depends on the sun. Yes, so it is a beautiful day to say the least. All right, arm preference at all? Just go with this one. All right, if you can uncross your legs for me. Yeah. All right. As you know, I'll go a little bit 
get silent here just for a bit. Blood pressure is 108 over 64. Very healthy. So it's good. I know. I feel like the winter went by really quickly here. Although I have to admit that although spring is approaching, we probably had more snow in March than we have in January and February combined. I couldn't believe it either. I am ready for spring. I am ready for summer. Alright. Let's just get a temperature as always. This is the one that goes under the tongue. No changes there. within normal limits. So no signs of, you know, early fever there, which is great. All right. So here is what the plan is going to be, if that works for you. Of course, we really want to take a look at the area of concern. So Leanne and the PA will probably do a pelvic exam. It'll start just with an external assessment. And if she, you know, needs to or feels like it's good to do an internal pelvic as well, um, you know, she may ask if that's okay. Um, just so we know, would that be okay with you? All right. And if it's okay, before you get undressed waist down, I'm just going to ask that you stop by the bathroom over there to leave a urine sample just in case we need to run any further testing that we weren't anticipating. Awesome. Alright, let me put all my notes here into the computer. If you look behind you, you're going to see that there's a white drape waiting for you. Like I said, everything top-wise stays on. You're just going to get undressed waist down. Leanna, the PA, will be in to take a look. Um, and hopefully, you know, everything will get taken care of today, okay? And we'll get you feeling a lot better. Oh yes, as always, it is a pleasure seeing you. If you need me at the end of the visit, just call for Lee, the medical assistant, and I'll be right by your side. For sure, for sure. All right, well, I'll give you some privacy, um, and I'll talk to you after the visit. All right, see ya. All right. Yes, Lee, the medical assistant, told me what was bringing you in today. You've been pretty uncomfortable. It was a little bit worse yesterday. Okay, and she sort of described it to me like you had. Uh, what appeared to be almost like a vaginal cyst. You felt like a bulge. And it was tender. Gotcha. Okay. Well, if it is okay with you, I'm just going to put the light on there. And I just um, would like to take a look outside only. And then we'll sort of assess if we need an internal exam today, okay? Awesome. 
here on the outside just taking a look is it on your right or your left your right side okay taking a look at the outside labia first no tenderness or swelling okay i'm gonna feel my hands get a little bit closer in the vaginal opening but nothing is going in the opening okay I see exactly what you're talking about here. Looks like you're having a little bit of drainage, which would probably explain why your pain is getting better. It is, it is a very common um, thing that we see here in the clinic. It looks like you may have had um, a Bartholin cyst. Looks like it's now draining though, so that's good. Um, but it, you know, may have been infected. Now, you know, at, if you can imagine, like our vaginal opening here at the bottom are, uh, of each side, you have your Bartholin glands. And sometimes these glands get clogged up. Um, and what happens is they form that cyst. Now what we worry about, especially in your situation, is that cyst becoming infected, causing pain. Um, but it looks like, you know, it's ruptured now and it's, it appears to be healing a little bit. So if it is okay with you, I'll probably collect a sample of the drainage here, probably make, um, kind of help more of the, the pus come out and the drainage come out, and then um, probably send you home with some antibiotics and get you uh, bandage up and everything and feeling a lot better. Okay, all right. Well, I don't think we have to do an internal pelvic exam for this, so that that works for you, unless you're having other concerns from down below. No? Okay. So, I am just going to put a mat here, kind of in like a surgical space, if you will. Okay. So, the first thing I actually want to do is just to measure that cyst here, just for documentation purposes. As you know, we do things in a bit of a non-conventional way here at the ASMR OBGYN clinic, so you'll see things that aren't done typically. Exactly, provide, you know, less anxiety, a bit more relaxation while also learning. Just gonna press on that, you know, cyst a little bit just to help more of the drainage come out. You may feel, if anything, a bit more pressure, but please let me know if it's a bit too painful, okay? Okay. There we go. Just gonna collect all of that drainage there. It's more of a relief. everything out from that site. Now it'll be very important that you come back in if you feel like that cyst formed again because there are some people that can get them frequently in which uh, case the management would change a little bit as far as a more like long-term resolution. So what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of like a protective cream layer here on the site. Kind of like a nice cooling sensation exactly. But yeah, Bartholin cysts, Bartholin abscesses can be uh, common, very, very uncomfortable. So, 
It's good that you came in when you did. up here. I'm just gonna put, yeah, just a gauze, just so you know. I probably wear very loose cotton underwear, um, nothing too tight around the area, just to kind of let everything breathe. At night, don't even wear an underwear at all. Exactly. Does that feel okay? It's not too tight. Okay, good, good. You let me know if anything otherwise. Feel a wipe down here. Now, if anything, your symptoms should get better each and every day moving forward. If you feel like symptoms are getting worse or you're having any other concerns, again, you definitely come back to the clinic, okay? Okay. So, let me remove this surgical pad here. So I am gonna be sending you home with some antibiotics today, okay? I'm glad we were able to get the rest of the drainage out. No obvious signs of, you know, current infection, which is good. If anything, again, the infection is going to be getting much better with time now that we've kind of drained everything out. I do want to get you started on some antibiotics, though, with that being said. Let's see. So we have some in stock for you. So I'm gonna give you these pills. I need you to take one tablet twice a day for the next five to seven days. Um, let me put here exactly what, um, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna kind of list everything here regarding the antibiotic as far as the frequency and how long I want you on it for. you too as far as how to use that antibiotic like i said if any changes in symptoms i would really like you to come back into the clinic okay yes yep it was absolutely my pleasure like i said you keep an eye on it and if it looks like or feels like it's getting swollen again um you know who to call absolutely absolutely i will also leave you with some patient information regarding bartholin cysts and bartholin abscesses just so you have more info on it and then um you'll be all set Leave the medical assistant will get you all checked out and then we'll kind of move on from there yes absolutely my pleasure um let me give you some privacy to get dressed again and then we'll see you at checkout all right, see ya.